In the United States, a single drop of premium organic honey can be as valuable as a rare gem. Selling for up to $30 per pound, this golden liquid holds more than just sweetness. It carries the story of an extraordinary journey. Behind every jar are billions of fluttering petals, millions of tireless bee flights, and a precise moment when three minutes of centrifugal spinning transform an entire season's labor into a cascading stream of liquid gold. Welcome to AgroWorks USA, where we explore the hidden stories of modern farming, rare livestock, and incredible food production from around the world. Today, we're diving into the fascinating world of beekeeping, a delicate harmony between nature's most disciplined workers and human skill. From the moment a queen is chosen to the endless foraging trips of worker bees to the advanced processing that preserves every drop's purity, this is a journey like no other. So stay tuned, give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, and ring the bell, because this is one story you won't want to miss. Beekeeping or apiculture is one of humanity's oldest agricultural practices, with evidence dating back over 9,000 years in ancient cave paintings from Spain. Early civilizations, from Egypt to Mesopotamia and China, valued honey not only as a sweetener, but also as medicine and a sacred offering. By the Middle Ages, beekeeping had spread across Europe, with hives crafted from straw, clay, or hollowed logs. Today, modern apiculture is a global enterprise. China leads the world in honey production, harvesting over 450,000 tons annually, followed by Turkey, Argentina, and Ukraine. In the United States, commercial beekeeping thrives in states like North Dakota, South Dakota, Montana, and California, where vast fields of clover, alfalfa, and almond orchards provide abundant nectar flows. The industry is not limited to rural landscapes. Urban beekeeping is growing in cities from New York to Paris, with rooftop hives supplying local restaurants and markets. Whether in remote forests, sprawling farmlands, or bustling city centers, bees continue their ancient role. Pollinating crops, supporting biodiversity, and producing the golden harvest that has connected people to nature for millennia. Honeybees, Apis mellifera, are among nature's most efficient producers, living in colonies that operate like a single superorganism. A hive consists of one queen, thousands of female worker bees, and a few hundred male drones. The queen's only role is reproduction, laying up to 2,000 eggs a day during peak season. Workers handle all other duties, from foraging and feeding larvae to building and defending the hive while drones exist solely to mate with queens from other colonies. Honeymaking begins when foragers collect nectar using their long, straw-like proboscis, storing it in a special honey stomach where enzymes start breaking down sugars. Back at the hive, the nectar is passed to other workers via trophallaxis, a mouth-to-mouth -mouth exchange, and deposited into hexagonal wax cells. Bees then fan their wings to evaporate moisture until the nectar thickens into honey, with water content reduced to around 17-18%. Finally, the cell is sealed with a wax cap, preserving it for months. In optimal conditions, a single colony can produce 1040 kilograms of honey in one season. Do you know that bees have a special honey stomach just for storing nectar? And do you think the hexagonal design of a honeycomb is nature's most perfect creation? Let us know in the comments. And if you enjoy stories like this, be sure to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to follow AgroWorks USA. Successful honey production depends on precise hive management, balancing bee health, productivity, and environmental conditions. 
Professional beekeepers position hives where nectar-rich flowers are abundant, such as orchards, wildflower meadows, or acacia forests, ensuring year-round forage. Each hive is inspected every seven to 10 days to check the queen's laying pattern, brood health, and honey stores. Pests and diseases, including varroa mites, wax moths, and foul brood, are controlled using integrated pest management, combining natural treatments, selective breeding for disease resistance, and minimal chemical intervention. Seasonal feeding is critical. In nectar-scarce months, sugar syrup or pollen substitutes are provided to maintain colony strength. High ventilation and temperature are carefully regulated, as excessive heat can damage brood and honey quality. Modern beekeepers often use Langstroth hives with removable frames, which simplify inspection and harvesting without harming comb structure. By tracking hive weight, bee activity, and bloom cycles, beekeepers can predict peak nectar flows, timing their harvest for maximum yield. Well-managed hives can sustain two to three harvests per year, each producing up to 15 kilograms of high-quality honey. Honey harvest begins only when comb cells are fully capped with wax, an indicator that the moisture content has dropped to the optimal 17-18% ensuring long-term preservation. Beekeepers start by calming the colony with a gentle puff of cool smoke, triggering the bee's instinct to retreat and gorge on honey, which makes them less defensive. Each honey-laden frame is removed with precision to avoid crushing bees or damaging the wax architecture. In traditional apiaries, a heated knife or uncapping fork slices away the delicate wax caps by hand. In large-scale operations, automated uncapping machines handle dozens of frames per minute with consistent accuracy. The uncapped frames are placed into a centrifugal extractor, spinning at high speeds for two to three minutes. Centrifugal force pulls honey from the comb without breaking it, allowing the wax to be reused in future harvests. The honey then flows into stainless steel filters where wax fragments, pollen clumps, and other particles are removed. Processing rooms maintain a stable 30-37 Cdn to preserve enzymes, aroma, and natural flavor. In mere hours, months of tireless bee labor cascade into thick, golden streams ready for bottling or bulk trade. Do you think harvesting honey affects the bees? And in your opinion, how many times should honey be harvested in a year? Share your thoughts in the comments. I'd love to hear what you think. After extraction, honey is transferred into stainless steel settling tanks for 48-72 hours. During this rest period, fine wax particles, pollen residues, and air bubbles rise to the surface and are skimmed away, resulting in a clear, uniform texture. In modern facilities, grading is meticulous. Honey is evaluated for moisture content, floral origin, crystallization rate, and color on the fun scale, which directly influences its market value. Premium raw honey is left unheated to preserve delicate enzymes, antioxidants, and natural aroma, while lightly pasteurized honey is gently warmed to extend shelf life and reduce fermentation risks. Some producers craft specialty products by infusing honey with herbs, dried fruits, or spices, targeting gourmet niches. Packaging formats range from artisanal glass jars for farmers' markets, squeezable pet bottles for supermarkets, and 2050 killing food-grade drums for bakeries, to industrial totes for beverage and pharmaceutical companies. Beyond table honey, bee byproducts such as pollen, propolis, royal jelly, and beeswax feed into cosmetics, nutraceuticals, 
and luxury candle markets. This product diversity maximizes the economic value of each hive while expanding honey's reach from traditional culinary uses to global health, beauty, and wellness industries. Beekeeping is far more than a pastoral craft. It's a multi-billion dollar global industry. The world produces over 1.8 million tons of honey annually, generating an estimated eight to $10 billion in direct sales. China leads with more than 450,000 tons per year while the U.S. market alone is valued at over $700 million, driven by growing demand for raw, organic, and specialty floral honeys. Premium organic honey in the U.S. can sell for $20 to $30 per pound, while rare monofloral varieties command even higher prices in gourmet markets. Beyond honey, the pollination services provided by managed hives add an estimated $15,020 billion annually to U.S. agriculture, supporting crops from almonds to blueberries. Bee byproducts such as royal jelly, propolis, and beeswax contribute additional high-margin revenue streams in cosmetics, pharmaceuticals, and nutraceuticals. This combination of direct product sales and indirect agricultural value makes apiculture a cornerstone of rural economies worldwide, sustaining livelihoods, enhancing food security, and linking traditional knowledge with modern, globalized markets. Which country do you think imports the most honey? And if you had the chance, would you start your own beekeeping business? Share your perspective below, and don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more in-depth insights from AgroWorks USA. Honeybees are critical to biodiversity, pollinating nearly 75% of global food crops and supporting ecosystems that sustain wildlife. Without their services, yields of staples like coffee, almonds, and citrus could drop by 30-90%, threatening food security worldwide. Yet beekeeping faces mounting sustainability challenges. Pesticide exposure weakens bee immunity, while climate change disrupts flowering cycles, reducing nectar availability. Habitat loss from urbanization and monoculture farming further shrinks forage areas. Global reports show annual colony losses of 20-40% in some regions, forcing farmers to invest heavily in hive maintenance and disease prevention. Sustainable apiculture now focuses on integrated pest management, habitat restoration, and diversified forage planting. By aligning bee health with responsible farming and consumer awareness, the industry can protect both pollinator populations and agricultural productivity ensuring honey remains not just a product, but a symbol of environmental stewardship. From golden streams of honey to the silent work of pollination, beekeeping is more than an industry. It's a lifeline for agriculture and ecosystems. As demand for premium, organic honey rises and awareness of pollinator conservation grows. The future holds both opportunity and responsibility. Success will depend on innovation in hive management, environmental protection, and global cooperation to safeguard bee populations. Here at AgriWorks USA, we believe every jar of honey tells a story of nature and human dedication. So what's your take? Should governments invest more in pollinator protection? Share your thoughts in the comments, and if you enjoyed this journey, hit like, subscribe, and turn on the bell so you never miss our next story from the heart of agriculture.